I will do that, but we all know that sometimes the police is a little overwhelmed with the amount of good works that they do. Anyway, I shall leave you to it in the tech inspector. Police officer. Sergeant. Sergeant. That's it, Sergeant. I'll see you. You go. Stravinsky eventually finds you, no doubt. Well, how big is this police station? Moderately big. About the size. Would of the, the guy be held under guard? You would think so. He'd be. He'd be in jail. He'd yeah, be he's in the before sentencing section. So he'd be in with a bunch of other people who are pulled in being drunk and disorderly, that type of thing. Yeah. I see. You mm. do not have access to that. I do not have access, even with sneak and this is hide. A, this is a police station. You're welcome to try, but you get the feeling it might not work. Strabinsky wasn't involved with all the other shit, so he might claim to know someone in there outside of something. And would you like me to make a... F if you like, you can make me a fast talk roll. Fucking yes. Because in, you are my basically in Russian. You are basically lying. Oh Suddenly yeah. He well, he, he he looks. Uh, Stravinsky is, of course, Russian. So Do you he, have he, he fast talk? Like he, uh, I think I will when we're done with this. This is a five percent chance. Fucking yes. This is happening. Okay. If How he, much? Like I, I said, if he fast talks him in Russian, does he get a bonus to it? He probably gets a penalty. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. Okay. Uh, here we go. 96. You are hey, escorted out close. of the police station. <laughs> Critical success. Critical failure, more like. I uh, went up <laughs> the desk and went, like, to be Akiko, when, you think about it, when you think about it, it's only, it's only four until he's at 100. So, you if know, he like, was at 100, he would five, probably so have been arrested himself. He basically made it. So, um... Did you, did you guys, the two sides, agree to reconvene at some particular location? Uh, we should reconvene at a diner because I'm starving. Because I got shot at three times. He keeps mentioning three times. Is everyone else going to reconvene at a diner? Is it well, a I, diner? I, Does my character it... think there's anything more I can glean by, by being at the library? I mean, do I feel like I've done all the research? I can you think you've do? done all the research you can. And okay, uh, yes. what was your question, uh, Pedalween? I said, was it a nice diner? It is a nice diner. Well then, yes, let's go. Son, I chose it. You, re you reconvene at a diner. I'd like to point out the clikers and the little side cart of uh, Stravinsky's... Uh... You reconvene at a diner. <laughs> I'm wearing a scarf, by the way, that majestically sways in the wind. Excellent. What you mean you're in at this period in time? You're going to be covered in, like, dirt when you arrive. <laughs> Doesn't the diner possess that great... Wearing a helmet and, and huge glasses. You, um, you reconvene at a diner. You guys may convene and share information. I pay dinner for everybody because I've been shot at. Good call. Three times. At least it wasn't seven times. You made That's a friend true. in life in, Str in Strabinsky. So, you um... Fed, fed him, <laughs> now he is yours. What, what, what are you, um... Are you going to exchange information? Yes. Okay. Do we? Do you want to roleplay that, or do you just want exchange information to be exchanged? Well, we've all heard it, like, yeah. here, so we may Strabinsky as well just... would like to summarize what he learned. Right, Stravinsky did not learn much. There is no toilet in police station. <laughs> so, Stravinsky, um, there was a toilet, you just didn't find it. So, um, you... Actually, yeah, there is one thing I'd like to do, which is... Yeah. It mentions old ones, you know, a whole series of stuff that's clearly Cthulhu-type stuff. Mm -hmm. Would, at this point, my character be aware of the fact that this is clearly something related to old ones and Cthulhu-type activity? You get the feeling from that... Well, you get the feeling from the totally unrelated book that you picked up. Mm -hmm. um, you get hooked on unless thing. unless the um, Brotherhood of the Seven are linked to the Brotherhood of the Five, <clears throat> that it sounds vaguely odd, like the stuff you've been involved with before. You're the only one that would definitely get this idea because you have Cthulhu Mythos score. Okay, cool. It seems odd. So, so, so what you're saying there's no reason for me to believe that the Brotherhood of the Five are like the Brotherhood of the Seven, other than the name. Yes, at the moment. Okay, cool. But uh, you you could have. By the way, did you um take out that library book? Yes. Okay, you took out the library book. You have it now. I collect books. So like, yes, I it's probably books. never coming yeah. back. <laughs> they've made, they've made <laughs> the a library... terrible... The library isn't a store, Luke. They've, they've made, made a library. terrible... They collect and I'm just like, fuck it. They've made money. a terrible mistake. The book is gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will note that the strange thing that happened when you did take the book out is that they had to write in a record for it as they didn't know they had it. Interesting. Which so section was it in? It was, uh, not surprisingly, in the occult section. They actually straight up in a section just labeled occult. Yes. Dope. 
You, uh, you exchange information on uh, what you guys have discovered, and you now must formulate a plan. Somebody attempted a, made an attempt on Jack Clyker's life. Someone else might be next. Three times. What's the plan? I'm going to call that dude from the Miskatonic University Library. You mean and ask about of seven. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'd forgotten his name, because he, he, he might know if anything. Well, right. he's a bit... I guess maybe he'll You're going to call Armitage at some point. Right, that's your plan. What about a under the general plan after Armitage has been rung? Uh, my general plan? General I'm just going to try and find out more about this Brotherhood of the Seven because if all we know is they're after Clyker, then the obvious thing would be to make sure Clyker's under protection. Mm. We'll try and work out who these people are. There's only two, two real options. Right. So my view is a cult is clearly the way to go. So I'm just right. going to try and find a well, cult. Okay. I, I would uh, suggest that maybe Clyker crashes and meet with uh, myself at the old uh, surgery. So well, we, we, we lodge in the same place, don't we? You and I. How yeah. about you guys crash with me, seeing how I have the presidential suite now? I'm not sitting in the same room as you, pervert. I, I like to know who you told where you were, so they come to your room and shoot the accident. Yeah, that's a good point. How do we? Uh, how did they find out where you were staying? Who kn Who knew where you were staying? Well, uh, did you I tell mean, anyone where tell. you? Were, did you tell anyone where you were staying? I don't know anybody here except from the actors that I was acting with. <laughs> Did you did make the, did you make booking much through man? All of the women who were working anywhere close to there. Yeah, I told a lot of people. Well, okay, that well, like essentially rules that out. It, then we don't you know are who what be. dictionaries say is dumb rectum. Look, Russian man, if you stay <laughs> at a great hotel in a not so great city, you let people know. Yeah, then or you get shot at. Good plan. Three times. Why he not? Why he not come for other people? That that. Family know we we stay there. It's is common common for well, for I mean, son involved. If you, if you want to kill someone, and apparently the guy has never done anything illegal before in his life, he just suddenly decided to kill someone in the name of some thugs who do graffitis and call themselves a brotherhood. Then maybe he decided, hey, you know what? Like the best place to kill my first person is in a really swanky hotel room. No, that's a, that's a flawed line of thinking. We we have gotten involved in in unpleasantry two months previous and now we're one of us is suddenly getting attacked it's it's not a coincidence well i of course agree with you there i was just playing it up a little bit but the the fact remains that they call them give themselves a high and mighty name of the brotherhood of seven and the police knows about them but they know them as thugs that do graffiti and yeah like, some slight in well well let's think fights. about this then we we were in, before the house we investigated went on fire we were not only particularly quiet we were talking between ourselves we found a uh, person who eventually ended up escaping on us it's not unreasonable to assume that he, he, you being a, a, a movie star or an actor well aspiring most yes uh, for someone as someone who's essentially making a lot of noise about himself within the city he, he could have recognized you from that night he could have, he could have had people recognize you well, from that he night. He could have, but what is why why do these uh, so called thugs? I mean, with a very uh, well, cold, like if, Violet, if Violet may... Becky up here, that is an occult name, isn't it? The well, I, 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 I would note at this point there were quite a lot of anarchist groups had quite dramatic names. I mean, the guy who shot Archduke Franz Ferdinand was from an organization literally called the Black Hand. See, the guy who shot that dude was exactly <laughs> like that, and so I feel that. He might have actually been sent from a completely different group that are just using the name of these thugs to throw us off. The guy who shot that dude, he shot some respect, man. Well, the, caused, a, what, caused a lot of problems, that did. Many big words are being thrown around. Can I get a check on my English, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'll so think many about big it. words, as in I and no, yes. no. Although, point, point being is, we, we, had a, we had essentially a witness to our activity to escape. And then a, an attempt is made on one of our lives, and the loudest member of our group gets, gets attacked. That essentially is probably a good place to start thinking about where we can find these people. Mm. I found a book, gentlemen, off the off the man who escaped. I th or at least I think it's related to him. How, uh, how, how is if if we make B trap? We we make man be loud. Another sign up for hotel, and we lay ambush if man come. What, we use uh, Jack as bait? No. Well, 
It's risky. I mean, well, I mean, what normally you know? I play the role of the hero, but I guess for you guys, I could play the damsel in distress. We go one door. I make bear trap. Leg comes off, guy. Uh, uh, he he lied there. It, it's good. Stravinsky's much. I like the idea. It's dangerous. What well, he, he, as he keeps telling us, got shot at three times. I, I, luck, I, luck I, <laughs> If if man dumb enough to come through door to shoot man and not shoot from rooftop, he 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 walk into their trap. I, like, I, I come put off. my arm around Stravinsky and I say, I like the way you think. Like it's come such a off high likelihood me. of him getting injured. It's it's got to be a great idea. I mean, you you got lucky today. There's nothing to do with luck. You got lucky today. I his didn't. gun jammed. I had, I, you say I, that's. I'd say that's. His lucky. gun jammed after I punched him in the face already and threw a lamp at him. I would like to point out there was never a moment where I was in any real danger. <laughs> <laughs> you were baiting him in to pull the trigger because you'd seen that the firing okay, pin was at a funny I'm angle. Autopsy later this week. We'll uh, remember those words. Is, is, <laughs> wait, you you at fancy hotel? Yes. So man has to ask key from reception man to be let in. And, That's and right. you, you you allow a visitor? That's right. How did he? I never thought about that. Russian I am man? very smart. Russian man, you are very smart. I am very How old. How did he get in? And because my room sagging. was obviously locked. Because with those cleaning ladies around, believe me, you don't want any of them coming into your room at night. Did the hotel have no external access, roof access? Most hotels have ladder up to the roof and a fire well, exit. Well, the that... thing is that I woke up from hearing a door, and the only door in that room was that was closed that I could hear was, you know, the entrance yeah. door. Fire access, or would, had a key. fire access would be in, would be in, uh, in no, back the thing of is, window. The, the thing is, the door, he, he, he couldn't have picked the key, and he must have locked the door behind him because I had to let... Uh, I had to let the, the staff member who kept knocking on the door after the whole thing happened, I had to let him in. You're certain they came through the door, not through the window, so... Yeah, but did you have to let the staff member in because they didn't want to open the door for reasons of propriety, or did you have to open the door because it was actually locked? This is actually where I have to refer to Kiko. Because... This, is, uh, yeah, this is where I have to say, you didn't check, but when you opened the door, it was not locked. Okay, well... You had locked it, but when you opened the door, it wasn't locked. Okay, so I'm basically saying that, like, okay, I had to open the door, it was it was not locked, which means, yeah, okay, he probably, he could have picked the lock. Mm. But then again, wouldn't the police have checked for that? Maybe Surely, not. the other thing is, picking a lock is not a quiet activity. That's also true. It well, definitely wasn't the window, though, because I woke up from hearing the door. I have but, a very but, light sleep. The thing is, in the 1920s, it would have, have been quite quiet because at that point you had so many things that were still crap tumbler locks, or you could use a bump key. There's, you can just pull it. Oh, okay. Which well, because like the easier it is, if you've got like a crap tumbler lock, it doesn't take very long to do. Although, isn't this an upmarket hotel? There would be man in it. There would be man in elevator to press button. We we ask man in elevator, man in reception. That's true. There would have been a, a lift assistant if there was a lift at that time of evening. I think there would be one all the time. I don't think they'd like to operate the lift on your own. He's no, you're probably right. Actually. Yeah, they were dangerous, weren't they? Yeah. He's right. He's right. Well, he could have well, taken the stairs. He could have taken the stairs. But you have to get past the lift to go up the stairs. Well then, gentlemen, before perhaps we go to the bait idea and get someone killed, we should ask around the hotel staff. We should probably we ask around the hotel. That sounds good. Are you going to still ring Armitage? Yeah, definitely. You're going to ring Armitage with your speed dial to Armitage. Call uh, well, I mean, Elmenka it's, it's, it's afterwards. Not, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a speed dial to Armitage. I ring the department mm -hmm. and I say, can I arrange a time to talk to Professor Armitage? And they say, we'll get back to you. And they're like, a few hours later, they say, oh, we'll receive you at, receive your call at five o'clock. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's what you get. It says he will contact you uh, in the evening. Well, then we've got time. You've got time. So shall we get in the car and go to the hotel? You go to the hotel, I take it. Unless anyone objects. Oh, let's go to the hotel. Wait, yeah. you go to the hotel! Da, 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 da. No, so just we need travelling music. Hold on. Ben, you, you mentioned a book. Uh, I did, um, yes. Can we talk can about I, some can I look at the book? You can yes. look at the book. Uh, I pulled the book out of my pack and hand it to... Uh, the, uh, it is called The Morticus Volume 1. It is in English. It is written by a person called Nathaniel Weatherford in 1837. This is one of the two spells. Um, does 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 Ben having read it means that he explains its contents? To he you explains well? the contents to you. Can I can I elaborate a little further? Is I uh, explain the rough contents of the book because you, I skimmed as opposed yeah, to yeah yeah yeah. It explains the gory detail in gory detail the creation of the undead and how it all humanity should embrace the immort 
brutality and death provides. It's well written, it's well laid out, but it still looks confusing. After me and Violet re-go over the book there quickly, can I, I just, if I asked Jack Clark for a second, did, did the man who assaulted you say anything along these lines at all? Any sort of bizarre speech about undi- undying or undeath? You have no, all the... he really said was that he and his six brothers wanted to kill you. You have heard the name Weatherford before. What, the book's author? You have heard the name Weatherford before because um, of the house that you went to last time was also owned by a Weatherford. Was that... This is this this is what was the name of the cult that he was a member? Of? Was it like the cult of long the, knives or something? The Black Knife. Black Knife. Okay. You could you do have someone you could talk to about this. And that would be uh Fred Milton. Cool. Yes, yeah, Svart Messer. But uh you can go to the um the hotel, which is where well, you're going. Well, it makes sense as we're on the way anyway. Yep. Uh the hotel, yep. You are greeted at the uh reception, of course, by the uh, receptionist. Uh I walk up to the desk and, mm. and ask Hello. Hmm. Hello. There was a crime here. Was this last night or this morning? Last night. Last night. There was a, there was a crime here last night that involved my uh, my colleague Jack. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That was terrible. Yeah, it was a dreadful ordeal. But we were wondering uh, who was on the staff last night that we could ask about. We're trying to um, trying to keep our friend's safety. Oh, that'd be Tim. Is Tim Sorry. available to speak to? Uh, I think Tim's. Yeah, Tim's in the lift. Just look at Tim. He was I... there. He looks very tired. Would I be all right speaking to your staff member? Don't see why not. Thank you. All right. Tim so. looks tired. You imagine he's had a long shift. Hello! Does <laughs> that wake him up? Little he's man. a little more awake now, but he was he was tired. Not asleep, but he is awake. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, hello. Um, Going up? Uh... No, not right now, but just oh. I had a few questions if you got a few a, bit, a minute or two. Oh. Okay. Were you on shift last night? Yeah. You heard there was an attack at the hotel, right? Uh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, uh my my colleague over here, Jack, he was he was the one who was attacked. Hey Tim. Oh, hey Jack. Yeah, so uh we were just wondering, did you see or hear anything out of the ordinary last night at all? And why, why did you let Murder Man up? I, I, no one came through the foyer during the evening. Did the lift get activated at all? Nope. I was stood in the lift all day. No, night. No one got. Act- it didn't get activated. He, no, no one came through the foyer. So in someone that, must have used the stairs, right? Yeah. In that case, Tim, what other like accesses are available there's, in this hotel? There's the fire escape. Where is the fire escape situated? Around the side of the building. Well, can you get to the hallway that leads to my room from there? You can get. Well, to, you can get anywhere. You can get to any floor. Oh, huh, I see. So hypothetically, Tim, if someone wanted access to an upper floor without going through yourself, they could have used the fire escape. If they and know, you wouldn't have been aware. If they know how to get to a door, yeah. Are any of the doors locked? They're all locked. Is the how, window how to the fire escape locked with a key? Are the keys all accounted for? Well, I don't think the lift boy knows that, does he? Oh, no. He's a staff member. He can probably find Shrugs, out. Shrugs. You could ask reception. I'm going to go and ask reception. Roll the keys. Say, hey, Don. Hey. So, Don, say, we were talking to Tim just now, and you know this whole thing that happened <laughs> yesterday with me getting <clears throat> shot three times. Um, did you, uh, like, Tim says that the only way to really get up there if you're not using the elevator is for the fire escape. Hmm. Now, if some crazy guy, like the guy yesterday, like, used the fire escape, how could he get in from the outside? Isn't the door locked? Doors are locked, yeah. So, I mean, you guys have keys for that, right? We do. Could, do, do you have, like, one key or the multiple keys? There's only one key. Could you check if that's still there? Only she goes to a selection of keys and starts counting Wait, she them. she goes? I called her Don. Sorry. Shit. Sorry, Don. Okay. Sorry, Don. Yeah. I thought, okay. you, said, I thought you said Dawn there. Oh, no, 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 no Don, no, like, no. he goes for a collection of keys okay. and counts them, starts counting them. As he's counting them, the uh, lift boy's eyes light up a little. There was a car. A car? The there was a car. No, outside. Oh. What sort of car? Do you remember? Oh, it's, uh, it was black. 
that doesn't help you very much. No, do you, were there any people in the car? Uh, barring the, obviously the one who drove. Uh, he, there was a tall guy. He was very tall. Was he okay. the driver? Uh, no, no, he wasn't. Was it Dome Reaper? He, uh, he, uh, he had an axe. He what? <laughs> he had an axe. Stravinsky suddenly remembers someone. Stravinsky starts swearing yeah, in Russian. Yeah, he had an axe. He was in the back. He was sitting in the car with an axe. Yeah. He's, I thought it was a bit weird. He's fucking yeah. who kill who kill little Alexi. Where was where was where was the car parked? Uh the other side of the street. I might just go have a look, just see if anything's been chucked out the car. Hmm. That's a that's a good idea. So um, I I bid Tim brief farewell and pop over. As the road. you as you're popping over, um Don finishes counting the keys. All the keys are accounted for, he informs you. So Don, if if say like if I was a man of ill respect, and I wanted to, uh, you know, get the key. Mm. How would I get the key, and how could I bring the key back here without us noticing? Mm. Steal it, but they're here, so you to steal one key, you'd have to steal all of them. Hmm. The well, keys weren't and... stolen. They they go off, like they're here. Have you, okay. Did, have they, you, did the police report that the guy had anything on him when they took him in? I mean, did he have lock picks or anything? You don't oh, the know sergeant, that. The sergeant didn't want to tell me anything. Such a... Such a terrible... <laughs> <So, laughs> the police don't, around don't. here have remarkably high standards of ethics, haven't you noticed? Yes, I've noticed, which is really good, because we are because we really are in America. You've only <laughs> talked to one policeman in particular. <laughs> you need to find the most dishonest policeman. Seriously. <laughs> you, you, you have met a, uh, so far, a seemingly very by-the-books policeman. Yeah, to be fair, I couldn't even remember if he was, like, a detective or a sergeant oh, at that point, so I didn't want to try bribing him either. As you're talking, um, good old, uh, Daniel. Yes? You, in you do find something. What do I find? You find what looks like a, uh, an address. On, on what exactly? A small and piece of paper. With the wheels. Oh, it's... Okay. You it... pretty much recognise immediately what this address is for. This is an address for a location of a lady of the night. Oh, I'll take that. One. Wait, why do I suddenly recognise this? <laughs> well, it's the way it's written. <laughs> the doctor's so lonely. No, no, no. It's it's not that you um, you're smart enough to know oh, how okay. it's written. It's not due recognition. You're just smart enough to go. Hmm. This is okay. written as the address of a lady of the night. It points to the red light district. I'll check on that one. Yeah, well, with me being the night, I'll head over as well. Right, so you guys are going to go to the red light district. Look, Daniel, I like you, but this should be a one-man job. I slap Cloaker across the face. <laughs> What's the... What's the other people What's doing? Well, Strabinsky kind of decided in the diner that uh, when someone said... Uh, Kleiker should be uh, under guard, that that was his job. So, it makes uh, sense he... that we, we travel together at this point, anyway. He's so got, I've, got to, I've got to go and, and sit by a phone. Yeah, he's got to go and sit by a phone, so you three <laughs> will have to go. I, I quickly asked... <laughs> I, before I forget, I, I quickly asked Trafinsky, uh You seemed panicked, sir, when the man with the axe was brought up. Is there something we should know? You remember little Alexi I bring yeah. in with big axe hole in the chest? Same man, I assume. The man that okay. you shot and thought was dead. Gen gentlemen, before we head to the district, I'm popping by uh, popping by our place. I'm picking up my uh, my gun. Ooh. I shall take uh, my handgun too. Okay. Well. So we, we drive, we just, on the way, dr drive, pick up our equipment, including, well, my, including my gun. Strabinsky is mm -hmm. riding his bike sort of mm -hmm. slightly behind him, and he has both his revolver on his person, and his Mosin is... His Mosin. He has a Mosin. It's stuff. it's it's actually he has concealed, so it's hidden on his uh, it's hidden on his bike. Did you, did you get it off right. a man who was climbing? Sorry, which, which, was he which, born which, in Chernobyl by any chance? Huh? Hmm? Which, which car are you guys using, by the way? Uh, Daniel's. Okay. <laughs> just drive off in Violet's car. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's, it's just, it's just because my, my, my car has my car's the elephant gun in it. Uh, yeah, you got yeah, that back. Nervous yeah. not to use it though, so kind of. 
<laughs> but so, you could always give it a go and break your arm. Yeah, that's just break our ribs and arms all right. That's just Davinsky has rifle eighty five. So are you guys um <laughs> but are you, are you um so um <laughs> three of you are going to the red light district and uh, Violet is waiting by a phone. Yes, I'm. I'm. I, it would be probably in the library because I wouldn't. If I don't have a house here, I wouldn't yeah, have a yeah, it would be yeah. in the library. You're waiting. It would be at the library. So, you guys are going. Uh, the address. Uh, one would assume we could find relatively easy once we get there. Then it's a, it's more for an area than an actual place. Well, what does the note say exactly? Can we have a readout? The the note generally says the name of a street, <coughs> and. Uh, Come swing by sometime with a little like X's. Does it have a signature? No. A name? No. Okay. It well, does not. It ain't gonna be that many a uh, many a lady of the night has their own place. Well, and if there are, we'll just have to go through every single one until we find the one we're looking for. Okay, so oh, sorry. Continue. I, I, I should say that you're going to be arriving at the lead, the uh, red light district during the day. Can we? Oh, um, not much is gonna be open though. No, you're, if you if you believe that you want to wait until night. Yeah, I was about to say, can we? Yes, you can kill that's... time until night. Whereupon... Well, Daniel, there's only one thing to do now. Sorry, I got poker cards in the car. So, uh, uh, that sounds good. Actually. At this point, before it gets to significantly night, you'll get your phone call, Violet. Mhm. Mm which indeed is Armitage. <laughs> oh hi! He looks a little. <laughs> he looks a little. Um. He sounds a little surprised to be hearing from you again, but. Uh, oh hi, Luke. <laughs> yes, yes. Um. Is that Violet? Hello, hello. Indeed, it I, is. I hear you wanted to speak to me. Yes, I was wondering if you had any experience with a group known as the Brotherhood of the Seven, possibly connected to an older, presumably extinct group named the Brotherhood of the Five. I've heard of the Brotherhood of the Five, but the Brotherhood of the Seven eludes me. Hmm. Okay. And then I read him. I read in the section from the from the uh, Brotherhood of the Five about blank, 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 and ask him if any, you know, the part that you read out earlier, and ask him if that rings any bells. Sounds dark and ominous. Are you getting involved in things again? Well, I have this wonderful gun, and there are so few things to shoot with it. <sighs> you will get yourself killed one day, Violet. But there's a book collection that needs to be finished. <sighs> so does he say he doesn't really have any information? He has this one, no so. idea who the Brotherhood of the Seven are. No. Like as well, I'll, I'll ask him if he, if he would feel amenable to making quiet inquiries in his end of the woods. He has no problem with making quiet inquiries on the end of his woods. Perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you, you have just, time to reconvene with the other gang who are going to the red just, light district, if before, you like. Just before then, I ask him quickly if he knows anything about the um, Nathaniel thingy bug. Nathaniel Weatherford? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Because uh, Ben's told me there's two spells in it. I want, him, I want to know if he knows anything about them. He has never heard of this tome before. Okay, and it's in English, right? So presumably I can I can read him part of the spell so we can hear what, what, what they sound like and what they're He's, like. He's, um... Day gone, day Even gone. in written in English, they don't make much sense. Uh, writ spoken out. He says he's never heard of this tome before. He's never heard of Nathaniel Weatherford or of the tome. This is a new thing that he's not heard, and he advises Goddamn. against recklessness with it. Goddamn hipster occultists. What does, he, what does he know about the Brothers of the Five? Uh, he knows that Pretty much what you do. He doesn't okay, know so, much so he, doesn't, he doesn't know what no. they're associated with. Okay. No, 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 he doesn't. In other words, when, when Violet read out spells, when Violet read out spells, did they chant like Pargon, Cthulhu, Pargon, No, no, no. They did not. No, they did oh. not. So, so what does it say there? It's Pargon. <laughs> no. So the question is, are you going to meet up with the others? Yeah. I'll, I'll, right. I'll, I'll, my driver's waiting outside, so I was going to bring the car around here. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Uh, red Light District, the address... Can you give us a general layout of the streets? It's a street. Right. <laughs> well, it's a general layout, at least. So there... Minsky would like to sit somewhere where it's he's got a, a good T-junction. Oh, sorry, it's, 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 it's in the middle, high... of, the, in yep. middle of the fucking... What, yep. Any good, good roof anywhere? No, not really. It's very Minsky dark. Be a fucking, fucking tower goblin? It's quite dark, I'm afraid. Uh, you <laughs> won't get a good shot somewhere. And you will look quite suspicious climbing onto the top of a roof. 
but Russian. Yeah, all right, fuck it. Okay, so you're you're all going to the red light district during the night. Well, it'd be a bit shit going during the day, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hang on a moment. <laughs> We're going, orgy for four. <laughs> <laughs> all right, labs. <laughs> Anyone fancy a bit? Okay, of guys, we'll give me a number. Right give me, no, guys, give me a number between one and four um, each. A one when one person says a number, the other one's not allowed to say it. Three. Three. Four. Four. Why did you Why did you say it after he's? Uh... Right. So one or two, either either um, Strabinsky or Jack. Two. Two. Right. Okay. Mm. So Clegg is number one. Who picked four? Me. You. By me rolling luck rolls, have exercised your power because yeah, you didn't... rolled a one on a luck roll. <laughs> I'm literally god of dice. So you have the chance <laughs> of improving your power stat. Well, I think I'll take it. <laughs> what the hell? I've got some. Power. Basically, I've just rolled luck rolls, and he rolled a one. Can we drive? To, can we ride that miraculous taxi again? Or... <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh... Shit. Your power is currently 12. It is no longer 12. What is it now? Your, your power is now 14. Wow. So, so, <laughs> so permanently increase your power by 2, which yep. permanently increases your luck by 10, nice. and permanently increases your maximum sanity by 10, and your magic points as well by 2. What the fuck? He just, like, did that via a spell? No, he didn't. He, he, ex Saiyan. he exercised his. He, he exercised. Uh, he rolled a one on a luck roll. This what is a violent Saiyan one. Yeah. Seriously, it's like what the yep. fuck? He rolled a one. There Can you I go? just randomly mutate into a muscle-bound <laughs> fucking Superman? It's like, it's, no. like, it's, it's like when Strabinsky rolls a one, he just turns into like Super Robot Joseph Stalin and no. like, crushes no, the entire. No, no, that's what happens when you roll a one. You get, it's, 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 only, it's only a chance of increasing your power, Fuck and you the higher market. your power is, the less likely it is you'll succeed. Strabinsky rolls a one. America is taken over by communists. Okay, <laughs> okay, guys, guys. All right. So, what is the result of me, me. swelling, swelling my power? Your power is now fourteen. Mm -hmm. Your luck, your mac, your luck is now seventy. Mm -hmm. Your magic point is now fourteen, and your maximum sanity is now seventy-five. Mm -hmm. That's it. That All right, but maybe it, it, within the scene, what, what, what was it? What was within the scene that caused this to happen? I will tell you. Right. You drive up to the red light district during the night. It's remarkably quieter than you thought it might be. You park your car up on the corner of the street that is uh, in question. And um, as you, you park, you notice further along down the street, illuminated by a street lamp, is um, a car. Street lamp there, there is a car there. Mm-hmm. Is there a man with an axe in the car? You are too far away to see right now. Is it a black car? <laughs> in the light, you think so. Yay. Weren't That's most cars sorry. black back then? Yes, honestly, most cars were. <laughs> it was much easier, in fact. Ford Ford had a slogan, in fact. It said, so you can have any colour you want, as long as it was black. So the car is next to a streetlight? It is, on a corner. I am going to... Is it hostile? Lean next to the streetlight, and lean against the streetlight, and light myself a cigarette. You're a little bit away from them, but yes, you can do that. And try to see who's in the car. It's a bit far away. You'd have to get closer. But, but well, wait, so so is it me who's noticed this, or it's them who's noticed this? Uh, you've all noticed this. Okay. Uh, well, is as, the streetlight next to the car? Uh, no, you are at partway down the street, further down the street there is this other car. Since Daniel heard the, the, the sort of uh, information from Tim earlier, uh, I, I make sure that the gun is loaded, although safety on, but loaded and ready to okay. go. Okay. Right. I'm going to uh, go around to the back of the car and have a look inside the back of the car. Is this not your car? Oh, it is my car. But oh. I'm just going to uh, make sure that everything is where it should be. Okay, everything is where it should be. Good. Well, yeah, elephant gun to, is there. I'm, I'm going to get the gun and go back and sit in the back of the car and just stroke it romantically. I'm, I'm going to tail the others to uh, to cover me, and I'm going to light myself a cigarette and walk towards their car and check it out. All right, you're going to walk towards their car. Basically going to be the bait. Okay, you're going to be the bait. Oh, wait, I haven't even told you this on day yet, have I? 
No, no, he's there. It's okay. That's no, fine. no, I haven't told the others that, that, that I'm there. So no, they I think they pretty there. much gathered that you caught <laughs> up with them. Okay. We, we figured. But um, right. you start walking towards the car. Lighting my cigarette? You lighting your cigarette. A drag. As you get closer to this car. Uh, hold on. Stravinsky would like to have positioned himself in a way where he's just... He's sitting in the back seat of the car we arrived in. Okay. With his fucking Mosin trained through the front window at the car in front of it. Okay. You do realize that if you shoot, you will shoot through your front window. That's all right. It's not my car. <laughs> it's my bloody car. I don't you shoot through my bloody window. <laughs> okay. Right. So you're going to walk right up to the car, Jack Clicker. Yep. Okay. As you get closer, I'd like you to make me a spot hidden check, please. I have rolled a 19. <laughs> a 19, was that? Yes. A 19. Fair enough. I have a spot hidden of 26. Very good. You have spotted in the car that there is, in fact, two people. There is one person in the driver's seat, and there is one person in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. You also notice that there is someone outside the car, on the other side, trying to look inconspicuous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's not looking very inconspicuous. Oh, that's all I noticed. Okay. You... Are you still walking to them? Like I... an awkwardly interrupts a blowjob? <laughs> You're still... I will walk Go towards off. the car. I will walk towards the car, yes. And I will, as I get closer, I will uh, wish a, a good evening to the man who's um, outside of the car. Right. This is the old trolling, trolling people who are, who are looking you, at you routine. Pretty as, much. As you walk up towards the car, the man... Leaning on the wall, leans up and goes to the boot of his car. Goes to the boot of his car. He's going to the boot of his car. He opens it. What does he do? Is this in full view of Stravinsky? Yep. Uh, oh. You are you going to keep walking up? Well, I'm going you... to I'm going to stay where I am, and I'm basically going to say like, you're what a nice. Th you're at this point about. 15 meters away. 15 meters away? I wonder we'll keep walking then. You want to keep walking? Yeah. Sure. So what are you going it's to 15 say? 15 meter rule. He can, he can hit him with a lamp what, before What are you going to out. say? <laughs> what well, are you I'm going to say? I'm, I'm going to say, isn't this a nice night for a stroll through the red light district? The man reaches for... The man has reached up for something in the back of the boot. And... Uh, I would like to say, if it's an axe that comes out, Shubinsky's shooting. No matter what happens, this good, guy's dying. Good, because it's not an axe. <laughs> it's a machine saw. It is right? a machine gun and a violin gun. Shit! You're the only one that can see this. Um, I am. Jack? Yes. It's a Tommy gun. Oh, for it's God's a sake. Tommy gun. It's have, a Tommy gun. I, of course, immediately say, now, whoa, whoa, there He is friend. shooting you. I throw myself. <laughs> <laughs> is there cover anywhere? You're in the middle of the street. No, there is not. Just, can we pause that? Should I be yes. on the sidewalk? This street, you said a T, but what are we looking at? Are we looking there's because from the old-fashioned streets, especially in America. It's, they would it's have, a, yeah, it's. We're but, talking like there's lots of like um, in betweens between like buildings. Hmm. Like so, what are we looking at? Are we looking? It's a completely flat street, or are we talking? There's this is like, a, the, almost alleyways. Between this is, there are some alleyways leading off from one side to another. Yes. How far behind are we? Because how many seconds have you been walking for, Jack? Three Maybe. Five. You've not walked far. You've maybe walked fifty meters, sixty 50 meters. Well, we, well, we wouldn't not hear that, obviously, or see that from this point. Yeah, he is shooting you. Okay. Uh. Uh. D <laughs> in that case, how close are we? Can I? Can I just grab? I will I inform you, Jack. I will inform you, Jack, that he missed. Quite well, spectacularly. I, well, if he's missed and he's shot, Strabinsky he is, would he like is, to shoot he is him. Vi then. He's basically spraying this well, guy. Okay, he's spraying. I, I turn on my heels. I run as fast as I can for the closest cover. And I shout, light him up, boys! <laughs> I assume, I assume Stravinsky's already shot by this point. Like, the moment the gun came out and he started shooting, yeah, he's he him like, pew, pew, pew! Roll. <laughs> As Wrong. someone so nicely in said in the chat, it is the Tommy gun. Just run away, and he will not hit you. <laughs> Roll. Sixty-nine. What sexy, is your sexy. what is your rifle skill? Eighty-five. Roll That's for damage rifle. on your rifle. How do That's I do this? I will tell you what your your rifle uh, does. It was a Enfield, wasn't it? Mosin. A Mosin. 
Not sure if there was a Mosin in it's here. Very similar to an Enfield. It's, a, it's in an Enfield. It's yeah, I think there. I think we considered it an Enfield's Enfield. Enfield's bigger bullets, but essentially same deal. I will consider it as an Enfield, as that makes it uh, easier. Unless Mosin is in the book. This hurts Strabinsky's national pride. <laughs> fuck, fuck Only Enfield. You want me to roll? Pocket. You want to roll two D? Oh wait. You want to roll? Uh, oh, base range. Yeah, that's okay. You're all right. You're in range. Oh wait, 110. Mm. Yes, you are. Fortunately, you want no. me to roll two d six plus four. That would be. Eh. Come on, math. Seven. Seven. Okay. You shoot the man, and he um he screams out. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> As he screams out, um, the car that you this man got reached out from behind starts. Can I fire the elephant gun at the car? Were roll you ready for, to fire? Spine? Uh, well, I, I said I had it out and I was hugging it. <laughs> you I can don't know if that counts. You can take aim, if you like. We're still quite far away. You're still quite far away. I'm optimistic. Yeah, the elephant gun's burly, but... It's not, mo- it's not moving, it's a- and who knows, maybe I'll hit Kleiker. I mean, what a shame, I might hit Kleiker. <laughs> uh, okay. Roll to hit. What a shame. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a hundred. Clike is dead. Also, I must inform you that the elephant the gun. The street evaporates. I must inform you that the level. elephant gun, unlike other guns, this is how much you've leveled it up. The base chance to shoot with an elephant gun is actually fifteen percent. Mm. It's lower, but you rolled a hundred, did you? Yes. Well, describe to me, if you would, uh, Violet, what an elephant gun bullet is like. Well, I mean, this is basically like a kind of extremely large bat. I mean, how long? It would be roughly like half a foot long. What would so happen if this were to water. jam? Well, I mean, well, actually, if it jammed, it would basically be like the way these things were designed is you, you they basically they would break open rifles. They had over under break open rifles. So basically, it would be like you'd hear a clicking noise and the whole thing would shift sideways. Is this if it, if it jammed <laughs> or it misfired, you'd basically be unable to crack it. And you sit there going, for fuck's sake. What if it misfired? Digging your own grave. What if it right misfired, now? Violet? You rolled 100, you have jammed your gun. What if it misfired? If it misfired, it would explode. It has exploded. That's mildly frustrating. Because you <laughs> rolled 100, <laughs> it has exploded. I shouldn't have, have told, any... you. Should have told have... you that it could misfire. <laughs> Does she have any arms left? <laughs> oh yeah, she'd be fine. She the, is... the, misfire, the misfires mostly damages the gun. Yes, the misfires mostly damages. She has taken uh, one point of damage from actually the explosion, but the gun is wrecked, and that explosion wasn't quiet. Luckily, I have a second one. The, op- the car has the the opposing car has started and is driving away, leaving the man who was shot. All right. Well, let's. Can uh, Strabinsky take another shot at some point? Hmm? What? Sorry. Sorry. Even though he's uh, been shot, does he still have capacity over his fingers? Uh, you don't know from this distance. Did it look like he dropped his gun? He he has not dropped his gun. (laughs) Then we should still be quite careful. We don't know how much damage he suffered from this distance. It's hard to tell, unless he's like I don't know. His intestines are walking down the street. No. Uh, Jack, you're still running, aren't you? Um. Well, is there, cover? The is there cover somewhere? <laughs> Not really. You're in, you're you could wait, run into an alleyway. Wait, wait, wait! Did the guy get the guy got shot behind me? The right? The guy got shot. Is he like on the ground or something? No. Is he just still standing and shooting at me? He's in pain and just firing. I take my chances, whip out my handgun, turn around, and try to shoot him. Okay, roll for handgun. By the way, like I'm doing it, like I, I throw it. myself on the on the ground and do that. Yep, yeah, roll roll for handgun. You okay, have a twenty-three percent chance. Uh, wait, how far away are you with a handgun? Twenty-three percent. I rolled a, uh, a thirty-seven. A thirty-seven. You are currently you. What gun are you currently using? Um, a nineteen eleven. <laughs> the bullet flies off into a window in the red light district, wounding hefty Helga. <laughs> 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 No, <laughs> you just miss. I shoot off hefty oh. Helga, so I wouldn't the, the man it. continues firing blindly, <laughs> uh, just spraying the gun, so and as usual... The man's, I'm behind where the man's firing. Basically, I, can ima- I... Sorry, let, let Kiko say... Imagine quick, the A-team here, when anybody shot at the A-team. 
And nothing, yeah. Nothing happens. This guy is not hitting anything at this range. Can I sprint up behind him and attempt to disarm him? He is a long distance away. Well, he's not going to hit shit firing that, is he? Let's be honest. He's not going to hit anything, no. He's not hitting anything. What's that car doing, by the way? Oh, the enemy, the other car? No, what what is the car doing? It's driving away. Yeah, it's just driving him. It's leaving him. That's why we should grab him. We should grab him alive. Let's stop fucking shooting at him. Wait, was but... he in that car? Was that another car? Oh no, no, there uh, was Chico, only one Chico, of. The... I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell my driver to chase the other car while I try and you get have another a gun out of the back. Oh yeah. Well, can I'm like, like I said before you do that. Was I, was I able to sprint up? It's a long way. You're not going to be sprinting that fast. Well, Stabinski's going to get an extra shot off. Stabinski's the... going to be able to fire before you get anywhere near him. Well, driver's going to get shot in the back then. You, if you're aiming for the driver, like I said, I'd like to start sprinting towards the guy firing. You okay. can aim for the driver if you like. It's not going to be an easy shot. Well, Strabinsky is old. You can shoot the tyres. The car no, is I... still moving. It's not an easy shot. No, yeah, the tyres might be easier than the driver, given the tyres are easier. Oh, fuck the shit. D driver, straight through the back. Uh, Do I roll or... You have to roll. Okay. 44. 44. What is your rifle skill? 85. No. You miss. Please. You miss. It's a good shot, but you miss. You actually shoot through the the actual front uh, view screen. Foot screen. That's all right. I'll that's good. That. That's, that's something at least. Now you we hear, can recognize the car. You hear yep, the sound. Of, you hear the sound of smashing. Smashing! As, as they, uh, <laughs> yeah. Nigel Thornbury as, flies as they drive the forward. Street. You get the feeling, Strabinsky, that whoever was in that front seat has just smashed the glass completely to provide a view. So they stick a gun Shit. out the window. Yeah. So, um, that Voice car look. drives off. Uh, and your, and, um, Violet's car follows. I'm, I'm lean, basically leaning over the back seat to the boot. Digging around in the huge pile of weapons, trying to find one that works. <laughs> and uh, you guys are trying to chase on Tommy Gun Guy. Well, I, I certainly am, yeah. Well, Jack Lyke is getting shot at, I'm approaching from behind. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm lying on the, on the ground, yeah. having my handgun trained on him, still trying to shoot him. He has run out of bullets. <laughs> I jump up and I do what I do best, punch a fucker in the face. You're still going to have to move quite a distance. You're not close enough to do that. Closing distance. I start running at him. I start running at him, shout, giving my best acting impression, going, <laughs> Okay. He's going to act them in the face. You're going to do that, right? I just realized there's no guarantee that he doesn't have another gun. Uh, you're charging at a man, just wondering. So you're you're still moving up, aren't you, um, Daniel? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put to the test here if this man has another gun. Yes, he does. <gasps> he, oh, it, uh... <laughs> he has pulled out a sidearm. Tap. Gun. I have two a more gun. Tommy While guns. While running at him and shouting, I fire at him. Oh god, you're, you're not firing and moving, are you? You're yeah, firing and moving. Shouting, right. Shouting, roll, moving roll handgun and then. Roll handgun then. I roll the handgun and I roll the fucking twelve. No. <laughs> You're running and firing. Your accuracy is destroyed. You're gonna hit fucking diddly You ain't like hitting Suck. anything. Suck. Also, you run like a guy. No, it's a third percent chance to hit. Oh. When you're running and gunning. Oh wait, what is a third of twenty? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not hitting. It wasn't the twelve. It was a one point two. In. In response, can I can I stop sprinting? Mm -hmm. Position myself and uh, and pull my gun out. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. He is uh, since he's firing at Clyde, he's still I'm still behind him, right? Yeah. He yeah, he's not going to have a very good a, a high chance of hitting you either because he's basically trying to spring a gun and shoot it at the yeah, same time. If, if that's the case, then I, I while that's happening, I like to pull my gun and aim yep. like to fire a shot. Yep, he's missed you. Why he, would he be firing at me though? He, no, he's missed. Um, but say yeah. that to Jack. He's missed. Yeah. He's missed you. This Can is I a choose small where I gun. aim, by the way? Uh, it will be harder to hit, but yes. <laughs> the rules for cold shot. <laughs> yeah, it'll be harder to hit, but yes. Uh, well, being trained, I'd like to try and aim for his his arm. Okay. Is uh, Strabinsky doing anything at this point? Strabinsky has crawled from the back seat into the driver's seat, turned on the car, and is driving towards the guy that they're trying to deal with. I'd like you to make me a drive roll, please. Drive, uh, 
drive. One. Let's see. What's this? He does not have a drive car skill. Oh fuck! I'm gonna run everyone. He has a drive <laughs> motorcycle skill, fuck not me, a drive this car. Not, this is not the same thing. Oh, no, nope, this is not the same thing at all. What did you get? Uh, thirty-one. Thirty-one. You, right. you might have got away with that. Did he press the go faster pedal? Uh. No, you did not get away with that. He pressed the go. You stalled the car. Fuck. <laughs> Basically, you've tried to do it and you've stalled it. Stupid fuck. Well, fuck. Uh, so you're taking a uh, aim shot. I am. Um, mm -hmm. Is it a uh, 100? Do you want me to roll? D100. Where are you aiming? You're aiming for his arm. Make his me arm. a roll. Uh, nine. You rolled a nine. I rolled a nine. Ouch. Um. Isn't that what I want? Yes and no. Um, let's see what your actual skill is. How good are you at that? Okay, few. With the uh, with the reduction to hit from... If you'd have just been aiming at him, you'd have critical hit it. But since you're actually... Well, that's good because I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, it's not. So actually calling a shot there is not bad. You have hit him in the arm. Roll for damage on your uh, 1911. What do I roll on that? Sorry. Let me uh, let me see. What would it have been comparable to back then? I mean, it's, 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 it's a forty-five. Yeah, it's a forty-five. It's a forty-five. Ooh, ooh, that's a uh, uh, forty-five automatic. Uh, yeah, it's exactly. roll me one d ten and add two. One d ten and add two. Uh -huh. uh, I rolled an eight, so ten. Yeah, this guy falls down to the ground. There is a lot of blood. That's all right. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Yeah? Bandage this motherfucker. Well, he's, just, he's just bleeding out. It's okay. He can handle it. Um, He was already us. shot, remember. Doctor, doctor, I think he's dropped his gun. Which he, he has dropped his gun. Uh, I, will, I will tell you, knowing with your Pulls high, med with your high medicine skill, this is a lot of blood. Well, I've got a pretty high medicine skill. You do have a pretty high medicine skill. Can I... Can I uh, well, rip shirt and attempt to patch wounds then. You uh, have pretty high resurrection uh, skill. For medicine, you need your actual gear, which is in the car. That's first aid. Well, uh, use first how, how aid. How long to bleed out for? I'm interested. Uh, I'm going to tell you that he's going to die very fast. If I can uh, run over wherever he's if bleeding you, if to you, stop the bleeding. If you go and get your medical kit and go back, you think he'll be dead. Okay. You could, well, you could yell for Stravinsky to bring you the medical kit while you try and do like emergency first aid. Well, that would. Can I first aid him to the point and then use medicine? You can certainly to. try first aid. Yeah. Because I mean, you know, it's like if you saw some bleeding out in front of you. Well, you try and, like, at the end of the day, stop, I could probably stop. stop the bleeding. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> stop blood. Yeah. 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 You, if you roll well enough on the first aid, like if you succeed and roll well enough on the first aid healing, you will save his life. If you don't, he will. I just rolled it. You what? Is it hundred for the first aid? D one hundred. Yeah. I just you. What did you get? Two. Two. You right. Want roll, you want to roll on though? That is uh, that is pretty good. I'm not even going to make you roll to see if you do save him because that is such a fantastic roll on first aid. I saved the shit. You have it. stopped the bleeding and saved his life. Do you and still, you eliminated uh, his acne and removed <laughs> his hairline like forwards two inches. He's like, my God. He he I is so like, just gets, like sturdy. He is <laughs> he is alive. You don't need the medical kit is unneeded here. You have well, you have stabilized him. Excellent. Then, as as obviously we've done that, like we've collected up his firearms and removed remo them from the area from you him. You noticed to your surprise that he also had a knife. Surprising no one. Um, can we? Obviously, he's going to be pretty incapacitated, regardless, isn't he? Uh, yes. Can I? Can I thoroughly search, man? Please. Yes. Um, who? Jack. <coughs> Jack. <laughs> Yes. It doesn't take a genius for you to realise that you've just been in a street where you've been fired, where Tommy guns, rifles, and guns have been fired. The mic gun exploded. It's not <laughs> going to be long before someone phones the contacts the police. It's red light district. It's probably business as usual. Yeah. There is yeah. gunfire. Uh, and and there is gunfire, the and then there is Tommy gunfire. Yeah, I kind of have to run on auto a little bit. I kind of have to run on auto a little bit. I'm just going to run with anything that the group says. Well, we, we've done over two hours. We can start. We can call it pretty soon. Okay. If you guys like. Okay. Stravinsky would would like to yell something. Mm -hmm. uh, he would like to communicate that uh, someone come get this fucking car and get it going, so we can get that dude in the car, and so we can follow Violet. Good plan, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, let me hold on. Let me check my 
Tabinski's oh. sitting there in the driver's seat, rocking back and forth. The car going, oh, oh, oh. All my skills. Uh, Hugo, when do, you, when do you want to address what's going on at my end? Uh, we could probably address what's going on. Well, we got, we're actually at a good point where we can wrap it up. With the start I... of a car chase. All so. right. Cool. Well, um... Mm. So are we are we going to Luke, or are we finishing off here? Then Luke's having his bit. Like, what, what are we doing? The Sorry. best thing to do would, if you're going to follow with Luke, to end it on the fact that a car chase has begun. Well, let's, let's start let's there. Actually, the, the, the car. We, we, the car we said we're going to thoroughly search this asshole first. Then, yeah. He doesn't actually have a lot on him. What he, does he have on him? Money. Oh, we'll take that. Yeah. Uh, smokes. Oh, we'll take those too. I mean, fucking mythos ain't cheap, mate. Um, and Any apart from organs? his weapons and some ammunition, that's it. Any Oops. organs still good? Well, in that case, uh, well, gag the man, hold him up into the car, and we, we go. And you chase after. Yep. And uh, although you... Oh, hmm? Yeah, yeah. Sobrinsky would like to move to passenger seat with uh, Mosin out window. That's, bro that's broken okay. now. And with the group reassembling in the car with a uh, gagged and, and uh, only barely saved man in tow, the car chase begins through the red light district. Wait, how big is this district? I feel like I got there first. Right. It'll right. start there, and it won't end there, more than likely. Yeah, yeah, Luke, you should be starting ahead of us, presumably. He will be, yes. Yeah, 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 that, okay. That's where we will end it. I just wanted to not have the gun explode. The gun sadly exploded. <laughs> I can imagine Violet in her car, like, Acme-style explodey face. Oh, dude, I've got <laughs> such a good plan. I'm, when I get it repaired, I'm going to get it repaired arcanely with a cult shit, so it can be infinitely more dope afterwards. Please do not call it a cult shit. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's gonna be a cult as fuck. <laughs> this is this is more occulter than ever before. Look at these sigils. So <laughs> I got us a pentogram. When we when we when the group returns, will they find out where these people are heading? Will they shoot the driver of the car? Will the police finally catch on to all the heavy amounts of gunfire that occurs around them? More importantly, what happened to Hefty Helga? <laughs> I don't think... I think you made that up. Oh. <laughs> so, say so long, everybody. See you, guys. Bye. Goodbye. Done, yeah. I'll catch you guys later. Later.